So I want to talk to you about my keyboard, the Logitech K780. It's not for everyone, but it could be for you. Now, keyboards, keyboards, keyboards. Some people love their keyboards. Some people are indifferent to keyboards. I'm somewhere in the middle. So if you're a keyboard enthusiast who needs cherry switches, MX, whatever, this may not be for you. But if you use multiple devices at one time on different operating systems, there isn't much better than you can get than this keyboard right here. Now, the low profile keys isn't for everyone. I love it. I love the smooth sounding. Uh, I don't even know if you can hear that one sec. Now, it is low profile. Some people do prefer the bigger, chunkier, more mechanical keyboards, which I get. I understand that's all about preference. Some people love the sound. Some people hear a silent sound. It's all about travel. There is a lot that goes into keyboards. But for me, I just need something that works. I need something that works on my MacBook and something that works on my Dell PC. I need Windows and Mac both together. And this does the job. You can connect up to three devices. You can either connect through your Bluetooth or you can connect through the little dongle that you plug into your laptop or MacBook. I have two of the dongles, one that came with my mouse, one that came with my keyboard. I have one plugged into each and both connect to one, both of them at the same time, if you get what I'm saying. So it's great. I only need one. I can connect both my laptop both my laptop, both my keyboard and mouse to each of my laptops, which is great. You have a little buttons under here, one, two, and three, which dictate the different ones that you want to connect to at one time. It's great to have one little key that you can press. An annoying thing though about that is it is the F1, F2, F3, which for a lot of people probably ain't a big thing, but if you are using say Excel or something like that, some of those buttons, especially F2, is a great little handy shortcut, which means I have to press an extra button, which is annoying when I forget to press that extra button. And then somehow I'm now not connected to my laptop anymore and not in Excel. And it's very annoying, but that's more on me than anyone. But overall, it's very, very good. And it's very quick and it's very easy. It's instantaneous and a little light next to the button knows, lets you know which one you are connected to. It's great. It is battery powered, which is annoying, but it's two AAA batteries, triple A's, two triple A batteries. And it says 18 months, which, you know, you don't know if it's 18 months really, but I've had this probably about two years and I've only had to change the batteries once. So yeah, it sounds about right. It's never been a worry. That's all I can say with anything that's battery powered. You always worry, oh, is it going to die? It. I've never worried about it dying. It's great. The key life is up to 10 million keystrokes, which, you know, I'm on my laptop every day, so I might be hitting that, but I think I'm still quite a way away from it right now. One great thing it does have is this little lip, which is like a phone or tablet holder, which you can use there. Now, what you can do is say, have your iPad or your tablet or even your phone, pull it in there, connect the keyboard for your, for your Bluetooth, and then you can use your keyboard on your tablet, which is great. It's a great way. What I tend to do, which is probably not a good thing, is I'll just plug my phone on my tablet there and then i'll watch a video while working multitasking the actual keyboard itself is quite a chunk if i am honest it is a lot heavier than you would think no that probably to do with this lip to make sure it can be steady when you have a tablet in here the last thing you want is a very light keyboard and for your tablet to go boop and fall off there's no real chance of that happening with this unless you actually knock it but then you're more likely to knock the tablet out of place than knock the whole keyboard over it's weighted at 875 grams and it is a chunk it feels like a big boy this is not a keyboard you want to be moving around everywhere it's not a keyboard you really want in your backpack it is not a to-go keyboard it is one that you will sit at your desk and you use it for all of your devices which for me is perfect now, there is also Logitech software that comes with this keyboard, and I would highly recommend anybody who's using especially a Mac to download this software because I found when I first had this keyboard and connected to my Mac, some of the keys weren't probably assigned, would I say. So I needed to run that and like that in an instant works works fine never been a trouble ever since as i said it is a full keyboard with the numbers on the side which for me is amazing because i do use excel quite a lot and i love a number pad to the side this won't be for everyone and if you are a gamer probably not the keyboard i would recommend but for work 
amazing love it like i said it is low profile key so this is not going to be for everyone but i like it short travel easy to know when you've pressed and the circular is not different to my normal small square the normal keys the circular is took a little bit to get used to but once you're used to it it's a keyboard you know you type how much different can it be please don't answer that i know for some of you it's very different but you know it's a keyboard for most people most people don't care there's a lot of buttons at the top all, all over your function buttons which does you know all the little features that you would like or might like i really use them i'll be honest but overall i actually really like this keyboard and i would recommend it to anybody especially somebody who is using multiple devices and especially people on multiple devices and different os's or want to use their tablet as well this keyboard was designed for that and it does the job amazing if you do want to check it out i've got a link in the description and until next time boy bye yes.